Well, the first time I saw Vilma, the first thing you would actually realize that she seems to be such a very quiet person, you know, unassuming, and uh, and uh, very courteous, of course, without doubt. She was like a real young lady, you know. And uh, but I also noticed that she was quite a competitor. Well, I, I got a track scholarship to Pepperdine. That that was where where we met and why it was Pepperdine. We were coached by you know um, a really strong, powerful coach. It's, it's possible that um, I met her on on the track, actually too. So it's been a long time. <laughs> I actually met Vilma in our Olympic trials. So I met her competing with her in the 200 meters. Um, Vilma was 100, mostly 100, 200. I was a 200, 400 meter runner. So that was the first time I met her. But we really didn't talk very much because she was in a different club and I was a different club and we were very competitive. Pamela McNeil, who was a representative of Jamaica in the Olympics as well as Pepperdine and myself also, um, we decided to get behind Vilma. We call Vilma VC, you know, and uh, we like to call her VC because it's like a nickname and, you know, it, it gives us that, that thrust, you know, in competition. So um, we, we decided, boy, VC is such a, she looks fantastic to us and we think that she could be so much better. Vilma had something inside of her that drove her and I wanted to be like her. I wanted to have that bubbly personality and, and that strength of running that she had. Um, no matter what was going on and no, no matter how difficult the task was, she always was able to finish the task. And boy, did I admire that. You know, in any part of the world that we went and competed, and someone said, where are you from? The first thing we would say, we're from Pepperdine. She never brought up the fact that she was an Olympian and that she was a track star. We would see her training, cause, you know, running, but she never really brought it up. I found out years later who she really was very hard worker and she stuck with the sport even though she's not running anymore she's so involved you know and I think that Pepperdine had a lot to do with that sense of community and feeling peaceful and happy and I think that she learned that here. Academically she's very sound and she has a master's degree in education. A great student. This one of discipline, one of principles which it's something that you have to understand all the time. She is in depth in what she taught. I, I've learned a lot from her, from a teacher's perspective, and that's why even today we stay close, closely connected. And, uh, and um, I must say, a uh, very religious person. Bill is a Christian. I'm a Christian. We share our faith with each other. When times are hard on both, both of our side, we can uplift ourselves in the Word of God. So Vilma is a really good Christian. Very proud of uh, the fact that she went here and she graduated from here. It means a lot to her and uh, this honor too. Yeah, she's very excited. Well, Vilma, you have worked hard. You have sown hard. And I just want to congratulate you on this honorary honor. Keep up the good work. Do what you're doing so well. Again, I am just amazingly proud of you. Well, congratulations, Vilma, our VC. You deserve every footage of it. A wonderful life in athletics and academics, a wonderful representative of Pepperdine University and Jamaica. And uh, all the best in the world. It was a great privilege. To, to be around you, to coach you, and to be a friend.